everybody, Shark Scrapper. We picked this up in a recent load of e-waste. It's APC, which we all know is usually power module kind of stuff. And this says main intelligence module. Symmetra RM power array. All right, well, I could use some intelligence. So let's go ahead and see what we have here. Come on, let's dive in. So we stopped at Wawa for some coffee on the way in. I was having, I was jonesing for some coffee on the way in. I had to get some gas anyway, so. All right. <clears throat> get that screw out of there. Yep, that opens things up. There's a nice piece of shred. Well, this is a very interesting board. Hmm. All right, let's get it out and talk about it. Phillips screws, they all come out pretty easy so far. <laughs> all right. So far, well, this is way too easy. I mean, way too easy to scrap. All right, shred. Man, you gotta love them when they're this easy. Let's get you off of here. <clears throat> now, this little board is really not much of anything. We have a little switch. We have a connector, probably gold-plated pins in there, some LEDs. I'm going to throw this in with my low grades for my yard. For boardsort.com, that would be a mid-grade. For those of you that are new to the channel, um, <clears throat> the reason that I don't sell my mid-grades to boardsort.com is because it costs me between 75 cents and a dollar a pound to ship material to boardsort. So uh, I need to um, factor in the shipping and I have a local yard that buys e-waste as well. So, <clears throat> all right, now this board Oops. This board is kind of interesting because for those of you that have seen my video, peripheral boards, high versus low grade, where we talk about identifying peripheral boards, you may find this next part a little bit familiar. Now, if you haven't seen this video, I would encourage you to go take a look at it. I'll put a link to it at the end of this video for you. We have power components here power components up here but then we have lots of ICs and socket mounted ICs and flat packs so yeah <laughs> it's very frustrating because you've got this stuff here which is downgrading the overall value of the board <clears throat> so what are we going to do with this there's nothing on the back it is at a minimum a mid-grade board, but we know it's better than that because it has all of these ICs and components on it. So it's going to be a peripheral grade board. Now, in order to justify making this a peripheral high grade, I'm going to remove this transformer, that transformer, and a couple of these clunky heat sinks. What that does is that removes a bit of weight because, you know, transformers are heavy, but there's not, these things are what's taking away the value of the board. So by removing those, uh, I can turn this into a peripheral high grade with confidence. Uh, this is also a good example here. I want to show you uh, this is not an IC chip. You see how tall it is? Uh, so that's not an IC, an IC chip. Uh, in fact, here, let me break it open. Let me break it open for you and show you. So 
So what you can see is it's more like a switch inside of there. And I don't know, there might be some tiny little silver connector. Might be some tiny little silver connectors in there, but just leave those on the board. Uh, those are not ICs. You're not selling those to board sort as ICs. All right, so let's get these guys off of here. Let's see if we can do that real quick for y'all. Just take a chisel, knock off the legs. Now that can go with your transformers or your small electric motors, however your yard buys those. Still have one more leg inside of here. There we go. All right, so there's another transformer. Uh, so we're getting there. We've removed quite a bit of junk from this. This is a socket mounted IC. So you could be saying to yourself, well, Chris lets us pull socket mounted ICs. Just understand if you do that, you're really taking away a lot of the value from this board. You know, socket mounted, socket mounted, socket mounted. Those are the three best chips on this board. If you remove those, this is no longer going to be a peripheral high grade board. You know, now you've made it peripheral low grade at best, probably mid grade. All right, now let's see what we can do about getting rid of some of this other extraneous stuff that's taking away value here. Oh, that's easy. These MOSFET heat sinks uh, are coming off real easy. There we go. So, <clears throat> I suppose I could probably even pull a couple of these caps, but they're, those don't weigh hardly anything at all, so that's no big deal. Um, I'm going to leave it just like that for board sort. I think that's fine as a peripheral high grade board, uh, but um, you could see before that with all of that stuff hanging on it, it was a peripheral low grade at best. And now we've cleaned up a lot of that, that, that trash off of it. So now we've got a peripheral high grade. Yeah, let's see. How easy do you guys want to come off of there? You're riveted on. Well, that sucks. You are screwed on. Gotta grab the nut. There we go. And let's just confirm that that is aluminum. Yep, aluminum. So that's gonna be sheet aluminum. That's not. That's not extruded aluminum that would go into your uh, normal heat sinks, your extruded aluminum. That's just going to be sheet aluminum. Let's see about getting these guys off of here. If they want to come off easy, they don't. You know, I think, I think that'll be fine for my yard if I leave those on because I normally bring them, when I bring them sheet aluminum, I have quite a bit of it. so. That little bit of uh, pollution or um, contamination in the sheet aluminum is not going to be a big deal. Don't forget, if you want to learn more about peripheral boards and how to identify them versus mid grades and how to identify high versus low grades, check out the video that is coming up in the link right over here. And if you haven't subscribed to this, channel. It's the little round icon in the middle so you don't miss a single episode. Have a great day.